Welcome to Learning Spaces, where I show you how to create imaginative learning spaces that will stimulate your child's development just by using a corner in the room. I'm Danette Bailey, and today we're going to focus on the book nook. Reading is extremely important for our children's academic success. As an early educator, I can tell you that if our children are going to be successful at reading, they're going to need to enjoy reading. That's why I want to show you the book nook. One important aspect of the book nook is that it can be used just in a dead corner that you have in your house that you're not actually using. The reason why this is important, more important than say, having a reading space in a playroom or having a reading space even in the child's bedroom is that this allows the child to be right in the center of things, to spend time with you in the kitchen or the family room while you're cooking without actually being in the way. And this is why I really like the idea of a book nook. Some important aspects of this book nook is that it just uses some basic materials. Here we're just using a basic white shelf and a basic soft child's chair. Now the chair, I actually have an organic crib sheet and I've wrapped the chair in it so that Occasionally the child may want to have a snack or have their sippy cup over here while they're reading and you don't have to be concerned about this chair becoming dirty because you can just take the crib sheet off and throw it in the washer. The other thing here is that there are lots of soft pillows on the chair itself and even on the floor in case the child just wants to sit on the floor and read the book. The other cool thing about this reading space is that we have a blanket for the child. So if they want to get cozy and cuddle up with the blanket, they can do that. Or they can also use this blanket and cover the whole area and have a reading fort. It's important that although you have designed this area to be a reading book nook, the child is able to use their imagination and make up other things that this area can be even though it includes books. So what I've done is make this book nook themed and our theme today is books that have stuffed animals that go along with them. So for example, we have the Care Bears edition of books. And if you know anything about the Care Bears, they each have a different variety of bears that have different symbols on them. And so we have some of those Care Bears right here on the shelf. We also have the Dora the Explorer book and the Dora doll. If you come down to our second shelf, we have the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger dolls. And we have a Winnie the Pooh and Tigger book. We have a turtle stuffed animal that's also a puppet and just a book about turtles. The other thing that you will find useful is Eric Carle. And he's an author that has lots of books that actually have the stuffed animal to go with them and so these are easy to find. I found a great book about birds. It's a very colorful book and I was lucky also to find this bird who's also a stuffed animal and I like him because the bird can make his own voice and I like it for the parent to read with the child and then you know you see later your child is mimicking the voice of the bird. We know that our children are learning when they mimic us. Uh, you can see here that we just have a sign that says my book nook and it would be useful to allow your child to maybe to decorate the sign that they put on their uh, book nook. This is important because while you want the area labeled, you may want to have the opportunity to take this down. You know, maybe you're going to have a party and you want to be able to disassemble this quickly. So you don't, maybe you don't want pictures and posters all over the wall. But you can have just a poster here on the shelf. As we go down to the last shelf, we have Blue's Clues and a book about Blue's Clues. Barney and Baby Bop. These dolls are easy to find with the, with the books that go with them. We have Curious George here in the corner with the Curious George book. And some of the characters, they don't all have to be ones that the children are familiar with. This is just a simple brown bear with a book about bears. Then we also have here, just sitting on the floor in the book nook area, a little 
container that would also have, for example, uh, the book and the character. But you can use this container for the child as they feel like they're done with the book. They can just set them in here. And then you can gauge when it's time to change out the books. So you may be asking, how long should I leave a themed book nook up? I would suggest that you leave a book up for about the 30 days because what you want to experience is repetition. You want the child to read the book over and over again and um, as a parent you should be reading the book over and over again. What you want to happen is that the child gains the skill to predict what happens next in a story and that happens from repetition. Also. Uh, and learning to read and understanding how important reading is. The other thing that I want parents to understand is that writing is a part of this process. And you will notice here that I have this little doodle board. Now, for one thing, you are not probably going to want your preschooler to have to have the occasion to write all over your walls. But you do want to provide an instrument for them to write. And I find these very useful. They come with the instrument to write with right attached. You can write on the board. You can write your letters, your name, etc. And then it erases so quickly and the child can start over. And it's so easy to put back and it can be stored in the container or it can be stored right on the child's chair. And it's very convenient. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this segment on the book nook. Please share it with your friends, other early educators, caregivers who are interested in their children, gaining a joy for reading. I've enjoyed this. Make sure you check out my other videos and have a great time reading with your kids. This has been Learning Spaces. Thanks a bunch.